today I'm actually going to talk to you about the pros and cons of cloth diapering. Um, I actually have cloth diapered two kids now, two out of my three, and um, I do a little bit of cloth and disposables just because it fits my lifestyle a little bit better. But basically I just wanted to go through and kind of just share with you the things that I found out have helped me with deciding what to do in terms of cloth diapering. So if you want to know the pros and cons that I've found in my few years of cloth diapering, then stay tuned. Okay, so um, here's a cloth diaper. This one is a pocket diaper, which means that it has a pocket inside at the end where I can stuff my inserts. So I will do a separate video going through all the different types of diapers that I have in my stash because I have quite an array and um, that'll be something that you can look forward to. But for right now, we're talking about the pros and cons. So I'm actually gonna go through in different sections and kind of discuss the pros and the cons as we go, um, rather than doing a full pro list and a full con list, because I feel like that might get a little confusing. So the first thing I have written down, actually, I have my little notebook here because I wanted to make sure I didn't forget anything that I wanted to go over with, is money. So essentially with cloth diapering, you're gonna, there was a study done in about 2018, I think, that you, generally save anywhere between $1,500 to $3,000 per kid in the lifestyle lifetime of diapering if you cloth diaper. Now, that sounds great, right? I mean, who doesn't want to save money? The thing is, is that you have to also, so that's the pro. The pro is that you get to save money overall. A con, which I think is a small con in the bigger scheme of things, is that you do have to have an initial investment. You do have to put up more money up front to buy the cloth diapers. Now, you can go different routes. I'm talking about if you bought all new diapers, you need to spend any around $300 or more. Some people spend up to $500 or even more than that. It depends on the style, the brand, mostly the brand, um, and basically, from there, you know, you can have quite a range of them. And it also depends on how big you want your stash to be. So you do spend a bit of money in the front end of things, but I don't think that that's a huge con because overall the pro for that is that that's the only time you're spending the money is at the beginning to buy all of your cloth diapers and all the things that go with them because you can use it with one child, you can use the set for the next child and so on and so forth until you know they deteriorate basically. So long as you take good care of your diapers, you're able to use them for a really long time. So the pro here is that you are saving quite a bit of money in the long term, um, especially if you're using it for multiple children. So then we have the big obvious one, which is that it's better for the planet. Now, I don't think it's any secret. We all know that regular disposable diapers are not good for the planet. We know that they don't decompose for, I don't know, at least 500 years, something ridiculous like that. And even if you get the natural diapers, you still have that issue. So for the planet, cloth diapering is better. Now, the, there are people that argue while well, you're using up all this water because of all the extra laundry. Not necessarily because in order to create the disposable diapers, you're using water in that process. So I feel like that, that point is a little bit irrelevant in my opinion. Um, but yeah, so that pro is that it's better for the environment. I don't really have a con for that one. Um, it is definitely the most natural option. Now you do have natural diapers, as natural as they can get. You have um, Baby Gannix, you have Honest Company, you have Hello Bello, you have all these great brands, which I use. When I 
do disposable diapers, I use Hello Bello brand because I really, really like them and they seem to be really good for my daughter. But that's not the most natural option that I can give her. Obviously, the more natural option would be to use a cloth diaper because it's just fabric, it's a natural fiber up against her body. So that's a huge pro. Um, so now we have another pro, which is that you have less rashes, less blowouts. I actually have had quite a bit of blowouts with disposable diapers, and I've yet to have one with cloth diapers. I have, though, had rashes with cloth diapers. So I'm not saying it completely eliminates diaper rash, but it definitely reduces the amount because I had, the reason I started cloth diapering my first son, or my son, is because I was having a hard time finding any disposable diaper that wouldn't create a rash, and his cloth diaper just completely eliminated that. Um, so now if you leave the diaper on for too long, or if you maybe have m messed up the detergent or, you know, switch things up, that could cause a rash, obviously. But typically you don't have diapers and rashes, uh, or blowouts and rashes, which is a huge pro. Along with that, you also have a better fit with the cloth diaper because you're able to really get a snug fit with the snaps that have that you have various sizes of snaps on the diaper. Um, so you can make this one diaper fit, um, like I say, a three month old, all the way up to a two and a half year old, th you know, three year old. Um, some people have it for longer, but that's just what I've experienced. Um, in, my, in my experience, that's what we've used. So in terms of the cons, I know I was gonna say pros and cons back and forth, but it was a little bit confusing. It was a little bit confusing that way. So, in terms of cons, the big, big elephant in the room is the poop. Obviously, that is a con. I'm not gonna lie to you. We do have the spray pal, spray pal. I think that's what it's called. Um, the sprayer that attaches to our diaper or to our toilet. Now we didn't have that at first, and so I was doing the old like flop or plop it in and like swish it around method. Horrible, disgusting, I hated it. If that's cool for you, then, you know, that's awesome. But it just wasn't working for me. So we invested in the sprayer. Um, but still, it is messy and it is something that when you have like a really messy poo, it's, it's not fun to wash. So you get used to it for sure. And that's something that you can kind of live with but it is definitely something that I'm gonna put as a con. And along the lines of that is laundry. You're adding more laundry to your life. So I have a family of five, that's a lot of laundry. Um, and on top of that, you're adding cloth diapers, which I don't put with regular clothing. I've heard some people do that, I don't do that. Um, and so it's extra laundry on top of the other laundry that I have, and you have to do it every two to three days, especially now that it's in summer and it's hot. Our place is always running very hot, so you don't want your diapers to be sitting there for too long. Um, so that's a con. Um, another con, which is kind of just like a aesthetic one, is that you have issues with clothes not really fitting properly. Now dresses you can get away with, it's no big deal, but what about shorts, what about pants? Those are very challenging with a lot of styles, I found, um, especially because sometimes you have to have more inserts in your diapers, and because of that, it makes the bum pretty big, and it's hard to kind of pull those pants over. So they do sell clothes that um, are specifically made for cloth diapering, um, in the sense that they have like an extra uh, panel in the back, so it makes it wider in the butt, but those are specialty clothes. I feel like a lot of people want to just get something from Target or whatever, or Walmart that's easy, and you, you do run into a little bit of trouble. So I tend to size up sometimes, depending on the style. Um, and that's kind of what I have so far in terms of my pros and cons. Now, I mentioned before in the beginning that I do both cloth diapering and disposable diapering, and that's because I have found that when I am out and about, it's a lot easier for me 
to do disposable diapers, um, especially if I'm at like a family member's house or whatever. I just I just feel more comfortable using disposables, but that's not to say that I do it all the time. Um, I sometimes do cloth when I'm out and about, and I sometimes do disposables when I'm at home. Sometimes I just feel like, you know, I need to take a break from laundry, I need to take a break from cloth that I bring, and so I'll give myself that grace, and I'll give myself a, a little bit of a break, and I'll just use disposables. So it's not like a, a thing where you have to just decide and stick to it and if you don't stick to it you're a failure no not at all do what works best for your life what works best for your lifestyle what keeps your sanity especially when you have multiple children you know it, it's a lot to juggle so that's just kind of my take on it that's what i think about cloth diapering pros and cons make your own decision from there but i hope that either way you enjoy this little diapering journey because it's going to be short and before you know it you're going to be potty training all right thanks so much guys i'll see you in my next video and if you don't mind please hit that like button because it helps me out a lot and if you haven't already subscribed please subscribe i would love to have you be a part of my youtube family all right i'll see you bye